Ugh. I, I, I caught a cold. That boy got that virus. But at the same time, I predicted the F-14 successfully. Twice. That is. That boy is stuck in time. So instead of me talking about the F-14 and it coming to War Thunder, well, actually we know that it's coming to War Thunder, let me tell you what it's going to get, or I at least I think what it's going to get, because I've been analyzing the teaser for a little bit, and what I found is absolutely fantastic. So as we know, the F-14 is going to get the AIM-54 Phoenixes. Oh, well, that are, man, dude, like those missiles are going to be extremely hard to counter. And I don't think that Gaijin will add anything to counter the F-14 next update. Like the F-14 is going to be top dog. No shit. And it's going to remain that way until Gaijin adds in the Su-27. But I digress. <laughs> So basically the F-14 is going to carry four phoenixes and I've been talking to Odd and he said basically I don't know how they are going to balance the phoenixes because they're going to have the hardest jeepo in the game, fastest and furthest. And if that's going to be the case, simply Gaijin are going to nerve them intentionally, they're going to lock their capabilities like they did with the R60s when they first introduced them. When they first introduced the R60s, they were like 20 Gs. In the teaser, we can also spot a couple of AIM-7s. I think that they're going to be AIM-7Fs, but I really do not know. And a couple of AIM-9s for good measure. And of course, the plane is going to utilize the custom loadout system or else it would be, uh, well, absolutely useless. Another thing to note about the phoenixes is how will chaff interact with them like these are the first Fox 3 missiles ever introduced to War Thunder basically they have their own radar they can guide themselves full on I don't know how chaff will interact with them I'm going to say poorly since chaff well it's it's broken in War Thunder both flares and chaff like they don't work as intended Another question poses itself, which is, can we actually bulldog the missile? Bulldogging the phoenixes means that we can launch them without lock. Because historically, you could do that. Historically, you can launch the missile at the target and it will acquire the target by itself at a certain range and it will guide itself in like an IR missile. So I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. The air-to-air -air stuff is pretty obvious, so let's move on to the ground-pounding stuff. And basically, we know that the F-14 is going to get zoonies and all that. We can see it in the teaser, but something else in the teaser that a lot of people didn't know about is strange explosions around the F-14 while it's passing low to the ground. Here's a beautiful thing. The F-14 utilized the MK-20 Rocket Eye cluster bombs. The, the MK-20 Rocket Eye is a conventional free fall bomb like the MK-80, basically a regular bomb, but instead of a conventional charge, it carries anti-tank submunitions. The Rocket Eye contains 247 of these anti-tank submunitions which are released at a set height using a radar altimeter. The design being that the submunitions are dispersed over a large area for greater effect. Which actually explains the chaotic explosions around the F-14 in the teaser when it's flying too low to the ground. And that explains it perfectly actually. So will we finally get cluster bombs in War Thunder? And if so, how will they deal with tanks and basically SPAA in ground realistic battle? The F-14 also carried Snake Eyes and MK-82 airs. And those bombs, dude, I'm, I'm going to leave the picture for them on, on the screen right now. And they're just mm -mm -mm, fantastic. I hope that War Thunder will add them to the game. The F-14 gets access to a plethora of GBUs like the GBU-10, the GBU-12, the GBU-16 and the GBU-24. And basically it can carry two GBU-24s and two GBU-10s. And when it comes to the GBU-12s and 16s, it can carry four of them. So we don't know how will War Thunder add this. So I hope that War Thunder adds in a bunch of these munitions to the game since, well, the F-14, like, seriously, you don't have to mess it up. Like, I know for a fact that War Thunder will absolutely mess up and mur murder the F-14, and it's going to be the F-14A, by the way. I forgot to mention that because it has those little slats to the front that are only on the F-14A, but they removed them later on on the F-14B and so on and so forth because it provided a 
ton of hassle when it comes to maintenance issues so they just remove them but other than that i will leave the full loadout on the screen right now like i found a uh, well a picture of it and basically hopefully we can get a little bit of these well loadouts into war thunder in the game itself and basically pause the video feel free to pause the video and read these out i am definitely going to make a lot of gameplay videos with the f14 when it comes out so subscribe to the channel if you want to see that and if you want to have a good laugh just watch this video right here it's about the vampire at 8.0 i take it at that br still dominate with it